Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this, yeah, the BMW 3 Series. This is the old model, 2014. It's for sale at SS Auto Links. You can click the link in the description or the pin comment to follow them and see the inventory. Anyways, the design is still really very nice. I love the design of this car. It's so timeless. The headlight merges with the grill, the kidney grill, of course, which is not gone too big yet. Anyways, towing hook here, headlamp washer. Yes, that's right. A headlamp washer. Well, that seems to be the trend in the early 2010s, but now seems to be removed from every car. Now, 16 inch tires. These are new tires on this particular vehicle, which is on sale. These are Goodyear tires. The tire size happens to be 225, 50, 17. Alloy wheel design is really nice. It says sport because that is the trim of the vehicle. I love the design of the three series. I mean, it still looks so nice. It is a bargain pick in the used car market right now because it's so appealing. It doesn't look like a used car in any way. Towing hook at the rear as well. And of course, you've got the Rear parking sensors a single exhaust which is chrome tape 320d written here the variant name and you can see the spare wheel is placed on the boot floor somehow meanwhile like i was telling you again and again and again it's a sporty looking car Neha has not closed the door because she thinks she's going to breathe air from there what happened why is the door open you think you're going to get air from there told you so many times what did i tell her so many times i also don't remember <laughs> anyways straight away let me open the rear door and show you the lack of space in the car so the seat is actually placed for my position this thing also has not been removed yet can you believe that yes yeah, so i'll also not remove it anyways yeah red seats sport line trim is the name of the variant so you've got red seats you've got red door pads and the piano black finish here now if i try to get inside here and sit you can see under thigh support is poor leg room knee room is just about adequate headroom is decent light placement here hook handle everything that is the regular norm here meanwhile in the center you get an armrest between cup holders and all three headrests are adjustable but the hump here is too big rear ac vents as well and there is of course a 12 volt charging socket as well so not really practical as such in the rear but this is a driver's car this is not meant yeah this is not meant to please you if you are looking for a car which is for sure for driven anyways under thigh support is not an issue at the front you can increase this memory seats you can save up to two people settings electric seats as well and this actually storage space right there as well door pockets are massive this is obviously the control for the power windows and it has this button as well which actually reclines the rear sunblind which is amazing honestly it's amazing see it's a very comfortable look at the bolt string and this car is actually having annabelle sitting right next right now doors they shut with a proper third that is a proper third storage space multiple of them thankfully it gets a manual handbrake so you can do the drifting and all those things and below here is also just storage space but this is not a wireless charger aux and usb plug meanwhile let's turn on the vehicle and there it rose to life steering is adjustable both for reach as well as rake so we're just going to put it closer to our chest now that doesn't make sense and uh, air conditioning is a little loud because the blower is on a higher speed now this screen looks a little small and uh, it doesn't get touch screen so yeah cars did not get touch screen back then anyways audio quality is decent let's play an audio right away where's the volume control yes that's a volume control vessel <laughs> Audio quality is decent and you know this is actually the control rather these are the controls for the air conditioning these are for the audio system i love the classic dials of the cluster they look really very nice and because this is the sport line it has that red treatment you know red stitching here as well these are actually the controls for the audio these are the controls for the cruise control and steering doesn't get a flat bottom but it's really nice to hold love the bmw logo auto dimming inside rear view mirror it also gets a sunroof and there's obviously a mirror along with a light same as the case here as well mirror along with a light so it's not a busy center console gear lever traction control button and various modes eco pro sport and uh, yeah otherwise you have the regular mode as well so you can obviously get into sport plus which turns off traction control yeah it actually puts it on dynamic you can turn it off completely as well so overall quality of the cabin is really very nice and somehow it's not aged as i would have expected it to i mean it's aged better than i expected it to these are the controls for the headlights anyways let's get driving right away getting into drive right away get going and i realized first thing that there's a lot of torque on offer this two liter diesel engine is really very punchy indeed has good amount of punch on offer i believe around 190 horsepower i mean my torque output is around 400 newton meters of course there's good amount of spray on offer as well and the wipers work brilliantly too now the thing is that the car is obviously on the stiffer side it is a bmw but it just feels so quick off the line 
Now, when driving in the city, there's no problem, but you have to actually control your right foot because there's just so much thrust on offer. Yes, on the stiffer side, you can't hear any rattling or anything with this vehicle in spite of the age. Now, this is a 2014 pre-facelift of the 3 Series, the 320D. And in terms of fuel economy, it's also pretty good, I would say. It returns fuel economy of around 10 to 13 kilometers per liter, depending on your driving style. Now, the only thing is I'm missing our paddle shifters, but obviously there is a triptronic function. Ground clearance isn't an issue at all with this vehicle and because of the higher profile rubber, well, there is absolutely no issue over potholes either. However, like I told you, it is on the stiffer side, which means on bad roads, it can affect you a bit. But get onto the gas unit, forget everything because the motor revs so fast that people's keys keep flying all over the place. So many times I told you not to keep the keys in the middle in the BMW. You know, the BMW is extremely powerful. Even this is a base 320D. Around the corners, it is so rewarding somehow because not only is it punchy, the fact is that the mid-range is really very strong. Turbo lag is well contained, but the mid-range really puts a massive smile on your face. And it also has a top end too. So it absolutely shines in multiple ways, making a quick overtake no problem. Because there's always that thrust which is there to push you forward somehow. That is brilliant. So power is channeled to the rear wheels, which means that if you turn off the traction control, it does love to spin its wheels. And that's actually a good thing because if it's a rear wheel drive car, it should be able to scare you silly. And this 320D, even with the humble engine, manages to do that and more so 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes around eight and a half seconds which is quick top speed in excess of 220 kilometers per hour which makes it quite a fast car indeed so as you can see the steering really very responsive i love the feel of the steering it is on the heavier side but it is rich with feel as well as feedback get into the gas instant response from this eight speed zf source gearbox it doesn't hesitate there is no sort of hesitation it immediately gives you a downshift and it really holds it all the way till the red line if you get into sport mode i'm not even in sport mode right now i'm just driving in maybe comfort mode or something of that sort still it is supremely responsive and supremely impressive now i can actually manually take control of things now i've slotted the gear lever to the left and immediately the car sort of had a downshift because then it realizes that you want to shift fast here i'll give you the shift as well love the way the gearbox is so quick with this shift it's super responsive as well and there's also an eco pro mode there's a stop start system too so overall bmw has done a great job to ensure that this is a car which will offer you fun when you're driving fast while being frugal when you're not driving fast as you can see the view from around is also great for a sedan however you know when you compare to an suv obviously there's a lot of compromise that's the reason one of the reasons why suvs are seeing a big increase in demand while sedans are seeing a slight decrease in demand as well so yes the motor is a bit on the vocal side but then it's a diesel at the end of the day and the diesel will obviously sound like a diesel good amount of punch on offer now getting it into drive so i've got it into sport mode right now so we are in sport gearbox we're in sport mode traction control is off left foot on the brake revs the motor and look at the amount of time oh my god look at the way the tachometer is pulling all the way past 5000 rpm we need to do this again that is so splendid brakes are super duper strong like really show footed brakes people's glares are falling revving the motor and yeah traction control not completely off that's why it bogged down a bit but performance is really the highlight it's a bmw it shows it to you it's a bmw each and every time you get on the throttle that is a level of performance on offer that's a level of braking performance that's the level of acceleration in gear acceleration and everything you name it this car nails it traction control completely off left foot on the brake revving the motor it's going all over the place because of the level of performance it's insane how punchy this motor is we'll do that once again and there yeah you can spin completely that is the amount of performance on offer from this engine four modes eco pro comfort sport sport plus and it alters the engine of course the gearbox as well as the steering wheel not the suspension doesn't get adaptive dampers but really what a performance oriented sedan even though it's a diesel love the brakes they are so sure footed a five-year-old bmw can still put a bigger smile on your face than most new cars can and that is why a bmw is always a bmw now this particular model has done almost 70,000 kilometers slightly more than 70,000 kilometers and is on sale at ss auto links for an asking price of rupees 16.75 lakhs car is in brilliant condition not a scratch on the outside and mechanically there is no 
uneven sound which is coming no rattling no warning light none of that which makes this actually a great deal in fact i am also considering buying one for myself that is the quality of this bmw what happened better than buying a duster at least oh please the swiss class which class every class <laughs> nice joke so actually i told you one wrong thing thing is when you slot it into left it actually is manual or sport mode together okay i got confused actually when you pull it back now nah, then it goes into sport mode for some of the cars like in audi it does that so i'm sorry about that but hey, you get the gist the excitement of driving a bmw can make you forget a lot of things and more but i just love this car the punch from the motor this is absolutely stunning this is a drift machine which is also very frugal that is the best of both worlds i would say so what about the maintenance well at motorbeam we have done a video of you know what will be the cost of maintenance of a bmw 3 series that is for the 3 gt but still you get the gist it is an easy car to upkeep if you have support and cost of upkeep can be also on the lower side you know why for multiple reasons and one of the major reasons happens to be the fact that the bmw 3 series is the entry level from the bmw brand which means that service is now available at most places including aftermarket garages which also do a great job you know what you have to do if you liked it thumbs up subscribe bell icon Bye bye.